Uh, hey guys, uh, just gonna do another video on how to whistle with no fingers. Gonna try and keep the dialogue to a minimum as per some people's complaints. Uh, this one is specifically targeted towards people who maybe have a gap in their teeth. I don't have one. Uh, or who are missing teeth. You know, so if you have a gap here, if you're missing any here, so basically it's not my typical whistling with the teeth, it's going to be whistling with the upper lip. So as you can see, it's really pretty much the same. And you know, for those of you who haven't quite mastered it yet, I've, I think I've figured out the thing that makes the difference between that, that just sort of hissing sound, and and the difference is in the tongue. Okay, so when you're making that hissing sound, your tongue is pretty much flat, right? And, and the air is just going out straight. And what needs to happen is the air needs to go in a circle. That's why uh, a referee's whistle has that, um, you know, bulbous thing at the bottom because the air goes in, around, and then out through that beveled edge. And the beveled edge is your lip, okay? The bottom lip. So really, um, you can do the whistle with your upper teeth exposed or with your lip. It's the same thing, but the key is you need to create a, a, a cup like that with your tongue. So imagine a referee's whistle, um, which goes straight along and then it has this sort of uh, curved part and then straight here. Okay, so the air goes in here, it goes around like that and then out the top. I believe that it, um, that's where the opening is, is on the top, right? So it does this. Because it takes these two uh, pressure differentials to create the whistle. And um, when you have a flat tongue, when you're doing this, it kind of almost sounds like you're, there's a whistle there, and the only thing missing is you got to drop your tongue down a little inside your mouth to create a bigger chamber at the back so that it can do this, and then it comes across the bevel. Now, of course, you still need the shape of your tongue. Uh, I don't think I can show you the back of my mouth how it actually looks in there. As you can see, I'm not really changing the position, so it's sort of this. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably not what you wanted to see if this is breakfast time, but basically, uh, you know, the shape is like that, more or less. So the front is a bit of a, a wedge like that, it's a V, and then at the back it's a bit of a, a bit of a shovel type of thing. And then to get the high pitch you just kind of stick your tongue further out, actually. So all I'm doing is I'm I'm just kind of moving the front part up to tighten that that gap. So it's basically like you could use that same referee's whistle, but you would make the hole smaller to get the higher pitch and you would have to blow harder to get that resonance, okay? So basically that's what you're doing to go from a low pitch to a high pitch. Okay, you can see I'm sticking my tongue out a little, which is making the, gotta love these motorcycles, uh, basically making the uh, whole container smaller and blowing harder. Okay guys, hopefully that's helpful. It shouldn't matter if you have teeth or missing teeth. If you have missing teeth on the bottom, you just need something to pull across, right? 
Start with that sound, start with the low pitch sound, which requires a little more space in your mouth and work your way to higher and higher pitches by making the space smaller and smaller and sticking your tongue out a little, uh, a little further. And I'm sure you'll get it really soon. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it in the comment section below. Tell your friends because it took me two years, but if you practice some of these techniques, I think you can probably figure it out in two months. Maybe two minutes for some of you, if you're talented. I will talk to you soon.